Good morning, John. Uh, there's something about this, isn't there? Catherine turned to me after finishing your video from this week, and she said, I was engaged, but I was relaxed. I think the way we normally do these videos isn't precisely that. I mean, I'm not going to stop doing it this way. I like this way. This is the way. This is the way. But I don't think it's relaxing. And look, I'm getting older. Maybe the level of energy needs to come down a little bit sometimes. The hamstring has to be the most ridiculously named muscle, right? There can't be a worse one than that. Calf is weird. Like, it's just a... Somebody looked at that and was like, that looks like a small cow. But at least calf is like a living animal. If it were called a veal string, then... I'd be like, yeah, that's equally ridiculous to hamstring. That's that's the basic of the situation we're in with hamstring. That's got to be the weirdest one. I've been working on a project for Awesome Perks because it's, uh, it's coming up quick. And for the last four or five years, we've been making various kinds of spray paint art where we've been using stencils on glass or canvas. And when we were doing that, we also made something by accident. Every year, I use the same roll of paper as the drop cloth so we wouldn't get paint on whatever surface we were painting on. And over the years that paper became really beautiful. Like it had all the stencil marks and then it had scuffs and footprints. And some of it started to rip and it was just like clear that we weren't gonna use this paper again. And, and I literally like looked down at it in the dumpster and I was like, I, I can't throw that away. I took it home and I cut out squares uh, and then I graffiti mopped Hankler fish on a bunch of them. And they are, the Hanglerfish art this year, and they're all signed and numbered. There's 250 of them, and I'm excited to share them with people. And of course, it's the only time we're going to be able to do ones like this, because that paper doesn't exist anymore. It's a pretty good trade, though, I think. And next year, I'll have to figure out something else to do. I'm not sure if that sounded optimistic or depressing, um, but I guess that's what figuring out something else to do is both of those things so i have a friend she's a pretty good friend and i go over to her place fairly frequently um and uh and she knows my name which is weird that i mentioned that I go over to her place once to to meet a new member of her family she's got a new dog it's extremely cute brand new dog didn't exist a couple months ago and she's like this is hank meet hank uh what what am I supposed to do with this? Like, either this is an odd honor that is being bestowed on me, or you forgot I existed. This isn't a dog that came from the pound with a name. This is a new dog that you had an infinite number of names that you could have given I'm it. I'm not personally a named dog's human names kind of person. I, my dog was named Lemon. My cats have been named Cameo and Gummy Bear. We don't run into that problem very often when someone shows up and they're like, oh, my name's Gummy Bear too. But you can do it. I just think, like, avoid the names of people who are going to be at your house a lot and soon. Sorry, it's true. If you're watching this, um, just know that I never said anything and then it just sort of pinged around in there for years until this. I forgot about Gluteus Maximus. Gluteus Maximus is definitely the most ridiculous name for a Gluteus Maximus? Like your butt is the emperor of Rome. Gluteus Maximus. What? Oh, do not forsake me. My indolent friends, oh, do not you know, forsake me, a lot of people like to say, you know if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Spend. I like to say, if it ain't folk, don't blix it. It's, it's just funnier. John, I'll see you tomorrow.